so hello everyone i hope i am audible and uh, visible to everyone can i get a quick thumbs up from all my dear students if my audio video is fine and welcome to this session of uh, the 10 ibq which is uh, very important questions or the images which all my students need to know so i want all my uh, students to give me a quick quick thumbs up and let us start with the first slide uh, i am dr cheshta agarwal your neet pg educator on an academy now on an academy we have a lot of new batches uh, which we have started recently or which we are about to start one of them is the neat pg all educator ultimate batch which includes the discussion of the pyqs the ibqs as well as it includes uh, you know the discussion of the high yield topics of all the subjects you can have an access to this particular batch using my code that is cheshta10 c h e s 10 is the code so you can use my code and get your uh, subscription today we also have an fmg batch uh, which is uh, which will start on or which have already started on 16th so anybody interested can take a part here as well and again the same use you can use the same code to get your additional 20% discount we have launched a question bank 2.0 which is available right now so i would be requesting all of you to kindly go through it almost uh, 80% of the total questions uh, they are clinical based questions a very very high yield for all the students i would be requesting all of you to please go through this prize list it is a, a highly discounted prize list which we are giving you right now you can use everything by using a code and the code is cheshta10 right now we are giving you 20% discount for all type of subscription whether it is a 6 month 12 month 24 month 36 month or 48 month or whether it is a plus or a iconic subscription so i would be highly requesting all my students to kindly go through it you can use my code i am already given my code this code will give you this amazing discount now let us start with the today's session where i will be showing you 10 more images which is very important for you starting with the first question of the today's session uh, what is the allergen present in this plant which causes allergic contact dermatitis i am very sorry uh, because the question is actually extending beyond the uh, yes uh, beyond this uh, frame so i hope you can get this question what is the allergen present in this plant which causes allergic contact dermatitis which causes allergic contact dermatitis option number 1 potassium dichromate 2 sesquio terpene lecton 3 para tertiary butyl phenol and 4 para phenylene diamine so what is the correct answer what is the allergen present in the plant which causes allergic contact dermatitis very nice this is a very a uh, simple example of parthenium plant this is a parthenium plant also known as congress grass gajar grass this is a fmg question we already got this question i think it was a 2022 or 21 december question where you had a question which was like that that the image was shown and they have asked you that which is this plant which causes allergic contact dermatitis so the answer of the question was parthenium here they are asking you the allergen which is present in parthenium and it is sesquio terpene lecton so everybody is right alia lakshmi rahul then we have uh, uh, dr yogesh arita peter siddharth the correct answer of this question is option number 2 let's move to the next question in which of the following condition will you will see the following nail finding so rises like in planus chronic renal failure or liver failure so what is the answer in which of the following condition you will see the following nail changes everyone so rises like in planus chronic renal failure or liver fa liver failure first of all tell me what is this nail change what are you seeing actually anyone what is this nail change this is a very characteristic irregular or non uniform pit a very classical irregular or non uniform pit known as thimble pit classical of psoriasis so what is this this is a non uniform this is a non uniform irregular deep pit irregular deep pit which is a very classical feature of patient of psoriasis you can see that the pits are present irregularly if you want to see this you can see that the pits are present irregularly around 5 to 50% of the total psoriatic patients they develop nail changes but if you have a patient of psoriatic arthritis patient of psoriatic arthritis 
the risk of nail changes increases from 50% to around 90%. The risk increases from 50% to around 90%. So the nail changes are more frequently seen in the patient with psoriatic arthritis. Okay. So the correct answer of this question becomes option number one. Clear? Great. In which condition? In uh, which of the following is considered to be the first line treatment for this particular condition? For this condition, what is the drug of choice? Tell me what is this image of? What is this uh, image of? Very nice, Lakshmi Khan. Diagnosis? Anyone? This is the image number 3 of the today's class. Image number 3. Great. This is a patient with wheel. And wheels is a feature of urticaria. The treatment of choice in the patients of urticaria is antihistaminic. Whether you have a mild urticaria or you have severe urticaria, if the respiratory system is not affected, the treatment remains same and that is antihistaminics. The treatment remains same and that is antihistaminics. Clear? Which of the following is not true about the lesion which is present here? So first of all, look at the lesion. So you can see that the lesion is present on the elbow. And what type of lesion is this? Let me just write it down for you. On the elbow, you are seeing a plaque which is associated with scales. So on the elbow, you have a plaque which is associated with scale. On the elbow, you have a plaque associated with scale. Now think of the differential diagnosis and tell me the answer of this question. Which of the following is not true about the lesion seen over the elbow of this patient? What is the correct answer? Very nice. Lakshmi, Hemant, Rahul, Ankita, Alia, Peter. What is the diagnosis? This is a very clear cut example of psoriasis, the erythematous plaque with silvery white scale, very classical of psoriasis. The histopathology shows hyperkeratosis, parakeratosis. This is true. The hypopigmented margin surrounds a lesion of psoriasis. And what is this hypopigmented margin? This is Voronoff's ring an oral retinoid which is acetretin is used in the patients of psoriasis but please remember you will never have intense itching in the patient of psoriasis so the incorrect answer will be option number three associated with intense itch associated with intense itch okay the correct answer of this question is associated with intense itch clear hai? Sabko? very easy question Next. What is the correct answer here? Identify the sign being shown in this image. We are scraping a margin or we are scratching a plug. We can see that the scales have increased. And when we removed these scales, we can see some pinpoint bleeding areas. What is the diagnosis? Great. Very nice. The correct answer of this question is auspit sign. You are rubbing or you are grattaging a plaque which is an erythematous scaly plaque. And when you do this, you will see that there is sudden exacerbation of the scales. This is known as candle wax or candle grease sign. When you remove these scales, you will see a pinpoint bleeding spot. And this is known as auspit sign positivity. So the correct answer of this question is option number one auspit sign positive next question which organism is responsible for condition depicted in the photograph you can see that in this patient you see some hypopigmented macules which are discrete to confluent at the borders it is discrete and in the center it become confluent So what is the correct answer in which organism 
you will see the discrete to confluent hypopigmented or hyperpigmented macules on the trunk very nice all of you very nice very well done diagnosis here would be pityriasis versicolor you can get either hypo or hyperpigmented lesions and what will be the diagnosis it is secondary to the melasesia furfur or melasesia globosa either melasesia furfur or melasesia globosa melasesia furfur and melasesia globosa clear next what is true what is true about this image or what is the diagnosis here you are right peter it is globosa more common compared to furfur globosa is more common true annular discoid lichenified or target lesion which of the following is true very nice lakshmi arita manoj yogesh this is a very classical image of a annular lesion it is not discoid remember everyone that discoid means you see the same consistency throughout the plaque but here if you notice the center of the plaque has a different consistency compared to that of periphery so this is not a discoid lesion this is a very classical example of a annular plaque in discoid you will have the uniform consistency throughout but in annular you will see a different lesion in the periphery and in the center so very classical of annular lesion we have got this question so many times i want all my students to know this very very important again requesting all of you if you are interested in reading dermatology more please subscribe using this code jeshta10 we are giving you 20% discount right now next associated with this lesion what is the correct answer associated with this lesion copper nickel iron cobalt very nice akshara khalid dr sana arita very well done now if you can see this image because of the belt there is eczema surrounding the peri umbilical region now this is a very classical image of allergic contact dermatitis secondary to the buckle of the belt the most common allergen in the metal is nickel so the answer here would be option number 2 that is nickel so very classical allergic contact dermatitis next question you have a image which shows linear lesions you can see some ulcerations which are present on the linear pattern what is the diagnosis great very nice everyone akshara lakshmi rahul dr ashish this is a very classical example of sporotrichosis sporotrichosis occurs secondary to sporothrix shanki sporothrix shanki the causative agent it enters the lymphatics and causes lymphangitis because of the spread through lymphatics you see the linear lesion and that is what is shown in this image you can classically see that the lesion are seen along the lymphatics they are going along the lymphatics so the characteristic example of sporotrichoid pattern seen in the patients of sporotrichosis sporotrichoid pattern seen in the patients of sporotrichosis next question a patient with following nail feature what is the probable diagnosis following nail feature what is the probable diagnosis following nail feature what is the diagnosis very nice all of you this is a very classical image of dorsal pterygium please remember pterygium is one of the specific feature dorsal pterygium is one of the very specific nail change of lichen planus it is most specific
it is most specific dorsal pterygium is most specific please tell me the answer what is the correct answer you can see the image here the nail you can see the surrounding skin of the nail shows inflammation it is very painful whenever patient touch the margins of the nail he develops excruciating pain what is the most likely diagnosis of this condition and you have to tell me what is the alternate name please tell me the alternate name as well very nice that is the 10th question of the today's session the patient with nail bed the the nail fold which shows pain this pus discharge this is a very classical image of what is known as ingrown toenail look at this image here what happens the nail usually grows in one direction but here the margins are also growing and when they grow they start pressing the nail bed from the sides this pressing of the nail bed from the side causes excruciating pain in the patient and that is very very much painful that patient is finding very difficult to walk this is a very classical example of ingrown toenail please remember ingrown toenail is also known as onycho cryptosis because the nail is going below the nail plate hidden below the nail plate so cryptosis means hidden very classical example of onycho cryptosis or ingrown toenail or ingrown toenail very classical example of onycho cryptosis or ingrown toenail theek hai so please remember this is a question with onycho cryptosis as the answer option number 3 now with this we are done with the today's session i hope everybody have enjoyed let me check if you are done yes we are done with actually 11 questions so thank you all of you requesting everyone to please follow these sessions i take these sessions every day so try to follow me on these uh, classes for an academy subscription you can use this code and you will get 20% discount on any of the subscription whether plus or iconic thank you all of you and